Hi, uh, my name is Ricky Lamb and I'm at the Saskatchewan Food Industry Development Centre. So we're based out of Saskatoon in Canada and we're a process and product development um, centre that help people develop food and food products and food ingredients for the marketplace. There's a couple of different uh, groups that need to be involved. We see the value from the farmers. The farmers are growing it. If we can teach the farmers how their products can be used, if we turn those uh, products into value-added products, and then by doing that, we'll inform the farmers as to what sort of uh, ingredients or grains have value and why they're valuable. Then we turn them into value ingredients so through different processes or through fermentation, and then we will turn them into products that consumers ultimately buy. So we're really excited in this space. We've been innovating this space for over 20 years and done a lot of pulses and we're excited to enter into other grains like canola and maybe other some minor crops as well and uh, I think the future is bright and we're looking forward to see the seeing the agricultural um, landscape develop into more crops and into a lot of other value added ingredients that consumers will find beneficial in their food products. Peas are definitely number one right now and still will be and I think that that will expand into other categories like canola proteins and other oilseed proteins as well as minor crops like probably like quinoa, maybe some millets and some of the other minor uh, Flax is a great one. Flax is wonderful and uh, yeah, we'll see a growth in a wide range of ingredients. A collaboration. Um, being able to kind of have deeper insights from the CPG companies in terms of what they're missing in terms of uh, functional properties, flavor, or price points. Uh, and then be able to kind of pair it all the way back to not only the uh, equipment manufacturers, but the farmers. Because uh, farmers want to see their products sold and they want to see, they know that they're, they're growing these nutritional products, they know that what they're doing is great for the environment. Um, and so they want to see that value go all the way up the value chain. And so I think we need better collaboration across the field from farmers to processors to CBG companies to consumers in terms of what they're willing or not willing to buy uh, and the value propositions that they're looking for and then see all of that develop concurrently and at the same time, yeah.